with chronic or pre-existing medical conditions. And I think it also introduces this concept, David, of we take these steps not just to protect your health and my health, but to, si to provide a buffer of protection around those more vulnerable populations. Right. And a lot of it's common sense. If you don't feel comfortable going into a crowd, right. uh, just don't do it. Exactly. Right? Just at least for the next few weeks till we see what's going to happen here. And in the meantime, we're coming up on a weekend. I know we're going to lose an hour of sleep right. this weekend, but there are things you can do to try to optimize your health to make yourself a little stronger as we yes. fight colds and flus anyway this season. Absolutely. Common sense and productive and help can alleviate some fear. Try to get enough sleep. Try to get regular exercise. Uh, if you smoke, try to stop and wash those hands and wash those cell phones, David. Yeah, really, those, really important. Those phones that we hold all day long. Jen, yeah. thank you. That's yeah. just the tip of the iceberg, uh, the questions that have been pouring into ABC News. And so Dr. Jen Ashton and I will be here tonight for a two-hour special. It'll be live. It's 2020 outbreak. What you need to know. Uh, very simple questions that you've all been asking about germs on surfaces. How long do they last? Can you catch it if someone coughs or sneezes near you? All those uh, obvious and common questions. We'll go through them all for you very carefully. 9 p.m. Eastern. It's a two-hour special. We'll try to calm everyone down as much as we can. In the meantime, the economic impact and a third week ending after wild swings in the financial market. The Dow closing down today, 256 points. It's about 1% after trading down 900 points at one point today. So there was a bit of a rebound. And since that record high a little over three weeks ago, the index has fallen nearly 3,700 points. Also today, we took note of stronger than expected jobs report for February. 273,000 jobs added last month, a sign of how strong the economy was. Of course, before this test of the coronavirus here in the U.S., that is an unfolding part of the story, too. There is still much more ahead on World News Tonight this Friday. <laughs> Kim is now demonstrating her congestion. Save it, slime ball. I've upgraded to Mucinex. We still have 12 hours to Australia. Mucinex lasts 12 hours, so I'm good. Now move. <laughs> Kim, no! Mucinex has a patented tablet that lasts three times longer for 12 hours. eBay says it is banning the sale of masks amid this coronavirus outbreak to protect you from price gouging. eBay banning sales from U.S. listings for hand sanitizer, disinfecting wipes, and surgical masks. The move comes after shoppers complained about people trying to make money off the anxiety being felt by so many, seeing skyrocketing prices. When we come back tonight, an important note about the coronavirus here in the U.S. and how to get your questions answered tonight. ABC World News Tonight with David Muir, sponsored by AstraZeneca. A breaking new live two-hour event from ABC News 2020 Command Center. Outbreak, what you need to know, tonight at 9, 8 central on ABC. One more note before we say goodnight. We know many of you at home have questions about the coronavirus. You can tweet me your questions. We're going to be back on the air at 9 p.m. Eastern with a two-hour special. What you need to know, our 2020 special, and we'll be tackling your questions at home. I'll see you then, 9 p.m. Eastern. Until then, have a good evening. Good night.